How to schedule Google Meet meetings for new Razorpay payments and send SMS alerts automatically. So for taking the appointments, if you are using Razorpay payment gateway, then this video is for you because here I am going to show you an amazing automation that after every payment captured, how you can schedule a meeting into the Google Meet software and how you can even share the same meeting link to the same person via SMS basically to the attendee. Yes, it is possible. You can entirely automate this process by simply connecting this Razorpay Google Meet and Twilio application with the help of an automation software and after that every time the payment will be captured the meeting will be scheduled automatically and the SMS will get sent automatically to the attendee if you also want to set this automation for yourself come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step so I'm collecting the online payments via this page and I have created this page via Razorpay payment gateway and I want whenever someone is going to make a payment from here an appointment or a Google meet should be scheduled automatically and we are also going to share the meeting link with the same person via SMS who is booking this particular appointment and for that I'll have to build a connection in between Razorpay and Google meet and I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli connect which is a an amazing integration and automation software via which you can connect multiple applications and automate your task. Well, you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box. Now, if you are a new user of Pabli Connect, you will have to sign up for free. I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect, so that is why I'm clicking on sign in. Now, in the free account, you will also get free tasks that to every month in order to test these kinds of amazing automation. Now, after reaching out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and simply provide a random name to your automation to your workflow. So let's say I'm providing the name as schedule a meeting in Google Meet on receiving the payment in raise a pay so how about i go with this particular name okay so let me read it one again once again schedule a meeting in google meet on receiving the payment in raise a pay now click on create and after clicking on this button you will find two boxes in front of you these are actually trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email automatically via gmail application and here got to our use case whenever the payment happen in the razor pay payment gateway application automatically schedule a meeting in google meet application so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are setting up an automation and here i am building the automation in between razor pay and google meet so that is why i have chosen first application as the razor pay and i want that whenever the payment is captured in razor pay this automation should start trigger so that is why i have selected this particular particular trigger even now after selecting these two things here you can see a webhook url and few set of instructions okay so the idea here is we are going to connect our razor pay with the pabli connect so that the payment capture details can be captured here in the pabli connect and then we are going to send the same data to the google meet in order to schedule the meetings okay and how i am going to do that well again you will have to follow the instructions so firstly copy this webhook url and go back to your Razorpay dashboard and here under the settings you will find an option of the webhooks okay here is the settings option I have clicked on that and at the above side you will find an option of webhooks and from this blue button add new webhook you will have to paste the same webhook URL which you have just received via Pabli Connect all right and after providing the webhook URL you will have to select the action event and it should be the same event which you have selected into the Pabli connect and here I have selected this payment captured so that is why I am going to select the same event here and after that you'll have to click on this create webhook button and this is how the webhook will be added here and that means now Razorpay and Pabli connect is connected okay now you will have to read the instructions that it is actually waiting for the webhook response log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission or record so that the data can 
can be recorded here in the web book response. So basically, here the test submission means is making of a new payment here or just a test payment. We are going to make a dummy payment here so that firstly we can get the details here, the payment capture details here. Okay, so I'll go back to the Pabli Connect and here I will directly open the payment pages and here in this particular payment pages, I've already created a one page for the appointment for skin doctor. So let me show you this page. Here is the page URL. I will open this page in front of in, in front of you and you will see that what kind of page I have created. So basically the idea here is I am collecting the appointments online. I'm actually giving the appointments online as a skin doctor for which I am collecting the payments from here. And I want as soon as someone is going to make a payment from here, a meeting should be scheduled into my Google Meet automatically. All right. And how I'm going to do that. So firstly, as per the instructions, I'm going to make a dummy payment here, a test payment here. And for that, I'm going to use the, the test card details of the Razorpay. Okay, test card Razorpay. If you will search like this, you will find the test card details here via which I'm going to make a dummy payment. All right. So here are the details of the dummy payment. Okay, let me show you. Here are the details. Okay. So coming back here and the cancellation fee for the appointment for the skin doctor is actually 300 admin at the rate pablitudes.com so assume that the email address of the person is um, admin at the rate pablitudes.com here i am going to add a dummy phone number all right so i have added the same now it is asking for the preferred date well i have added a calendar here and assume that the person is interested in scheduling this appointment for the 18th of january after that i have provided the several details basically the timing details as well so i used to provide the appointments for these four slots only so that is why i have provided only four details and i have intentionally added this timings into the 24 hours format why i'll tell you within the video later okay so for now i am going to select this 10 of the morning all right full name so assume that demo user is actually the name of the person now finally i have provided all the dummy details and now I'm going to make a test payment. All right, the contact details will be the same. I'll have to click on the proceed. All right, I have not added the correct number. It should be actually of the 10 digit. Okay, I have provided the same. Now I'm going to click on test card details and here the test card is already saved in my phone, in my PC. All right, clicking on this button, pay now, pay without saving the cards. And here I'll be clicking on this button success. And this is how the payment has been successful. Now, when I'll come back to Pabli Connect here, you will see the same payment details will be captured as a response here. Let me show you the details one by one. So here we have the 18 January date. Here we have the phone number, the full name, the email, the timing. So we have captured all the appointment related details. Now I am going to schedule an appointment into the Google meet okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation is actually done which was connecting Pabli connect and razor pay and capturing the data here now we're going to send the same data to where to the google meet application so that is why i'm going to search for the google meet here all right so i have selected the same now in action event i am going to choose the schedule a meeting well i just have a single action event only here okay when you are connecting your google meet for the first time with Pabli Connect that may sure that you go with the add a new connection and provide the access from here. I will go with the existing connection only clicking on save and you will see the Google Meet account will be immediately connected with Pabli Connect. Now it is asking for the calendars. So I want that this particular meeting should be scheduled into one of my Google calendar. So how about I go with this PabCon only okay and here it will only include the calendars that support the Google meetings. Okay. So if your Google calendar supports the Google meeting scheduling, then this will surely schedule a meeting in your Google calendar. All right. Now it is asking for the summary and the description of the meeting. Okay. So let's say I provide the summary as new appointment is received 
why are and how about I add the name of the person and from where I'm going to add the name well I have just received the name and other data in the previous step and I'm going to use the same data here exactly where is the name of the person here it is okay and I don't need to manually copy and paste the data here okay I'm going to map it and mapping is very simple in Pabli Connect if you will click on this particular field the above data will be visible here and here I am going to search for the name of the person okay so the summary of this meeting will be new appointment is received via this particular person and the meeting has been scheduled okay so this is going to be the summary of this particular meeting and don't worry this name of the customer will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time that is why we have to map this value if we are going to provide any data manually the data will re remain same and if we are going to map the data the data will vary as per the automation will work okay as the automation will work now it is asking for the description so i am going to write the description something like this only okay new appointment is received via and how about here i add the email address of the person so basically i have searched for the email address with the help of add the data and here i have the email address now i have provided the summary the description now it is asking for the start date basically the start date of the meeting and the end uh, meeting date and time okay and here you can clearly read the instructions that enter your even start in this particular format and the format has already given it is actually into the tz format and the format should be into the utc okay in the end date also the same instructions has been provided and you can get the date time value from here okay so i'll have to map the start and the end date in this particular format okay and i have already received the start and end date okay basically i have received the start date and i'm going to calculate the end date because here i am going to give the consultation for at least one hour so what i'll do is i'll add plus one hour i'll add one more hour in the existing time and this is how i am going to fetch the end date okay so firstly let us check where we have the date and the time okay so we have received the date as 18th jan 2023 and where is the timing all right the timing is actually 10 a.m and there is no a.m and p.m value it is actually into the 24 format but here we have an interesting twist what is that twist we will have to map the date and time into a single field only okay okay and that too in this particular format but the date and time which we have received is completely in different format and that too separately okay so how i am going to combine these two and how i am going to get that particular that preferred time zone which the google meet is asking for well it is very easy with public connect click on this plus icon and here with the help of date and time formatter feature which is an amazing feature of public connect i am going to work with the dates okay so here in the action even i'm going to select this format date and time sorry format date with site time zone okay now click on connect and here it is asking for the date which needs to be formatted okay so it is asking to provide the date so if i'll click on this particular field i'll find the above data here let me search for the date and here i have the date and here i'm also going to map the time as well okay here i have the time so i have mapped the date and time so what is this format it is actually ddmmyy and this is hours minutes okay so i'll have to choose this from format from here so basically we have the month in the written format in the sentence format so i'll have to choose that what kind of format actually i should choose okay so i just have the single uh, format for this january here you can see it has written okay so that is mmddyyhhmmss okay here we have the month date year hours minutes and seconds so how about i map the same and since it has the hours minutes and seconds and i just have the hours and minutes so how about i also add this zero zero extra and every time what will happen now onwards after the date and time these extra two zeros for the second values basically for the seconds value will be added automatically okay so from format is there we have the two format well i want the two format in which particular format again i'll take you here okay it should be into the t and z format so let us search for the same format and we have the t and z format here you can see the t and the z 
said okay well instead of this i'll have to go with the this because it has z in the end okay so i have uh, provided the same format for which the google meet is looking for now it is asking from the from time zone and the to time zone okay so in from i'll of course i'll have to choose this asia kolkata only because i am from india and i'll go with the same and in the to time zone well as per the instruction i'll have to search for the utc format now why utc format again as per the instructions uh, i'll have to choose utc format but why they have even mentioned about the utc format only because every time i am going to schedule a meeting in my google calendar in my google meeting the meeting will automatically take the time value as plus 530 okay the plus 530 hours will be automatically added into my existing time so that is why it has clearly it is clearly asking us to provide the utc format so that we can avoid this extra plus 530 hours okay so that is why i will go with this utc format only okay now finally i'll click on this button save and send test request well the response is received let us check the date and time so we have actually the date of 4th january 2023 well this is something wrong because i have actually scheduled the meeting for the 18th january as far as i have i remember okay so i'll have to check that whether i am actually doing the mistake all right so the format was the uh, all right we had the hours minutes and seconds and here we have the date month and year okay 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 all right so i think i have not provided this extra space in between the date and the time so how about i place my cursor here give a extra space and now i am going to click on this button once again and let us check whether i am receiving the date of 18 that yes i was correct uh, that extra space was missing so, so did you notice that while creating the workflow how important these extra spaces or how important the date the time everything is so make sure whenever you are going to create the automation inside public connect be careful about everything all right now finally we have the start date which i am going to map in this particular step basically here and what about the end date well i want the date i want the date and time of after one hour because here i am going to take the appointment take the consultation for at least one hour so how about i add extra one hour in this particular date and then i am going to add that particular value in the end date okay i am going to do that with the help of the date and time formatter only okay so click on this plus icon once again and search for the date and time formatter and for adding one extra hour i am going to choose this add or subtract action even clicking on connect and here it has connected asking for the enter date basically asking for the date so i just received the date into my previous step only here we have the date and time and the second thing it is asking to provide the expression provide the amount of time which you would like to add or subtract to the date so i want to add one extra hour okay so here it has clearly given the example of plus eight hours and in this particular case i just want to add one hour only one hour okay so i provided the same well it is asking for the two and the form format it will be t and z only so where we have the so where is the t and z format here we have the t and z format as this let us search for the same here also and here we have the t and z format finally i'm going to click on this button save and send test request and let us check that what time we have so we have 18th january 2023 and we have this particular time and i'm going to map this particular time in google meet and let us check whether the google meet has been scheduled for the same date and time or not so here i am going to click on this particular field but the data which we have just received wire to extraction step is not visible here so how about i firstly save this particular step well the start and end date is required so let me provide some dummy value just to just to save this particular step okay so i have provided a dummy value here clicking on save and you will see this is how my automation will be refreshed and now when i will click on this particular field the above data will be started showing and here we have the start date which i am going to map from here here we have the end date in this particular field i am going to map this add and subscribe basically i'm going to map the value from this particular step okay so i have mapped the start date the end date asking for the 
attendees email basically with which particular person your meeting is actually going to schedule for so i am going to search for the same person where we have the email address here we have the email address okay asking for the request id enter the random unique id for this request you should regenerate this id for the every new request if an id provided is the same as for the previous request the request is ignored okay so it is asking to provide a unique id so how about i provide the email address only because this is something is going this is something is actually unique in my automation clicking on this button but before that let me open my google calendar where this meeting is actually going to schedule okay so here we have the google calendar calendar let me open my google calendar all right well here you can see the meeting has been scheduled but the current meeting is actually scheduled for the different timing that is of 3 30 to 4 30 i think i have not provided the timings basically the format in the, the into the utc format as per the instructions i'll have to cross check it okay so here we have the date and time formatter basically our second step was format date and time okay and here i'll have to check the two time zone yes it is actually the asia and kolkata only and i'll have to change it in between to the into the utc etc and utc format clicking on this button save and send test request all right and here we have different time don't worry about that all right so coming back here and here i'm going to refresh this automation so that all values will be replaced automatically okay whatever the values i have mapped here okay these values will be automatically mapped with the new value which i have just received received okay let me click on this button save and send test request once again so that this automation will execute for one more time okay so here we have the end date clicking on this button save and send test request and finally i am going to click on the last save and send test request button of my google meet action step but how about i change this particular text so that i i will be able to differentiate in the timings okay so a new appointment how about i write something like a new appointment okay and in the description also i'm going to add a new appointment okay finally going to click on this button save and test request and again wait for the response or wait for the uh, meeting to be scheduled here all right here you can see the meeting has been scheduled automatically and if i am opening this meeting the date is perfect the timing is also perfect and it has also scheduled for at least one hour and the end time is also here and now whenever this date and time will arrive you can directly join the meeting from this particular button only if i'll click on this button you will see how the meeting will be open from here and you can join the meeting from here but from where the person will get to know from where the person is going to join the meeting so we are going to share the meeting details on his phone via sms and for sending the sms i am going to use this twilio application which is actually an sms sending application only and here for sending the sms i am i am selecting this twilio and an action event since i want to send the sms so that is why the action event will be send sms message now i am going to connect the Twilio application with the Pabli Connect just like I have connected the Google Meet and the Razor Pay. Okay, so click on this button and here you'll have to click on this add a new connection and for the connection it will ask you the account SID authorization token and once again the account SID. Okay, so how you can reach here you will find this click here option basically an hyperlink you'll have to click on this particular link and it will directly take you to that particular section from where you can copy the SID. Okay, well it is asking for the code so let me first provide this code which i have received on this particular gmail account all right so i have provided the code click on verify and here you will see it will directly take me to that api api and token section okay so basically from the left hand side you will find this api keys and the token section okay once you will reach here you will scroll down a little bit and here exactly you will find the sid which you will have to paste at both the places okay asking for the authorization token okay so here we have the authorization token as well so click on this i button and this is how you can copy the authorization token as well pasting it here click on save and this is how twilio account will be also connected with public Pab connect okay asking for the body of the sms sender and the recipient number okay so what kind of sms you would like to send from here exactly you can compose that very same sms very same uh, message okay 
सो आई वॉन्ट दैट आफ्टर एंड हेलो द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन शुड अपियर हेयर ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू सर्च फॉर द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन एंड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू एड द नेम एंड वॉट विल हैपन द नेम ऑफ द कस्टमर विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली रिप्लेस ओके एवरी कस्टमर्स नेम विल ऑटोमेटिकली प्लेस हेयर आई डोंट नीड टू डू एनी थिंग मैनुअली बिकॉज आई एम मैपिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू ओके एंड एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर लियर वट एवर द डिटेल्स यू आर गोइंग टू मैप हेयर द डिटेल्स विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली बी रिप्लेसड एंड दिस इज हाउ दिस ऑटोमेशन इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस ओके सो हेलो यूजर यू हैव बुक्ड एन अपॉइंटमेंट विद us on and here i will add the date and time and instead of providing the date and time from these particular data from from the date and time format uh, i will map the date and time from the razor pay data because it is quite readable it is easy to understand so here i have the date pressing the comma and here i am also going to map the timing so where is the timing that is 10 am okay so you have booked an appointment with us on okay not in it should be on okay on this particular date and time you can join the meeting from this link okay let me again correct the spelling okay from this meeting link and from where i will get the meeting link from where i can actually send the meeting link to the person so i have not shown you that if you will check the response of the google meet okay so this is my google meet step and i'm checking the response and here you will find the google meet link with the name hangout link so let me show you here you can see hangout link okay and it is actually the meeting link only if i'll open it in a new tab new tab you will be able to see that it is the link okay and i'm going to share the same meeting link to the person via sms okay so i'm going to map the same so come back here and here uh, open the response of the razor pay and let me search for this link directly okay here we have the google meet link all right how about i also end this message with some thank you okay so this is the sms i'm going to send to the person who is booking an appointment and he will be receiving this sms automatically on his phone okay so hello demo user you have booked an appointment with us on this particular date and time you can join the meeting link from this link thank you okay asking for the sender name and the recipient number okay so i'll have to check whether i have taken any phone number from the person or not so do i have any phone number yes i have the phone number as this and here this is just a dummy number so don't worry i will replace this number with the genuine one so that i can show you how the messages can be arrived okay before i click on this button and here you'll have to note one more important thing that is uh, it is asking the number into this particular format but currently i have the number in this format without plus so what i can do is i can add this plus sign additionally here and this is how i am going to make this particular format and here i would also like to give you a small small tip okay on the checkout page only you can mention about this particular phone number where you are collecting the phone numbers okay so what will happen the people will provide the phone number in this particular format only and in this way you do not need to add this extra plus sign manually here okay asking for the sender number well i am using the free account of twilio so i'll take you directly to the dashboard and here exactly twilio has provided me a sender number which i am going to use here only okay so i have copied and pasting it here and now i'll be clicking on this button but before that let me first replace this number with the genuine one all right so i have provided the genuine number clicking on this button save and send as request and here you can see the response has been received and the messages has got sent okay let me upload the screenshot of the sms which i have received on my phone number and here you can see it is the same sms which we have composed uh, with the help of twilio application and which we were able to send with the help of pabli connect with the help of automation okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to make a payment into the razor pay account the meetings will be scheduled automatically into the google calendar on the specific date and time and you will be also able to send the meeting details via sms to the The same person who is making payment via Razorpay. Okay, so this is how you can completely automate this process, and you need to create this automation inside Pabli Connect just once. After that, sit back and relax, and simply close 
Pabli Connect simply close Twilio application because you do not have to do anything manually. Everything will be done with the help of automation. Just in case if you want to access this automation into your account, I will also attach the shareable link of my workflow, the same workflow into my description box. So you just need to click on this link and sign up for free in the Pabli Connect and the same workflow you can access into your account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.